So if you want to be able to type math types of things, so like fractions, square roots, plus minus signs, we can do that in Canvas. So if you're in your free response, right, you'll have a question up here. It says whatever, explain how you use the quadratic formula. Okay, you can type words in here. I first start by blah, 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 blah. And if you get to a point that you want to enter some math, okay, symbols, numbers, whatever, you're going to click on this square root X right here, and it says insert math equation. And when you click on that, you're going to see this new box pop up. Whatever you type into this new box is going to then appear into the other one. So you'll type in here just like you normally would. We can do X equals, you can put in a fraction. Okay, so we could do negative four. We want to do plus or minus, that's right here. Okay, our square root, right, is right here. Okay, so maybe we get um, seven. Okay, all over something, whatever. Okay, if you want to do something like an exponent, so maybe you want to do something like x squared, you'll type in your variable, and then this SUP, right, that's more typical of what we see in Word, that allows us to type in an exponent of 2. But really, if you sort of go through here, you'll be able to find all your different things um, going across here. So we'll have our different inequality symbols, um, I can't think of a whole lot more that you would need to find in other places. Most of it you're going to find right here, your operations, and then our symbols, our square roots, and our exponents. Then once you're done typing in whatever you type in, I'm just going to fill in some stuff here, whatever. Obviously, that doesn't really make any sense. You'll hit insert, and then it all will pop up on your screen, and then you can just keep typing like normal. 